anyone who has read many of your novels will know that you write about a worldview rooted in optimism and even joy. Do you think reading and fiction can be a comfort for people in this new normal? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think more so than watching anything on TV because watching something on TV, as much as I love certain things on TV, is a passive act. Uh, it's all done for you. You just sit and watch. Reading a novel is, is not a passive act. You're involved in it. Uh, it, it it's an collaborate in between the writer and the reader, and the reader brings perception to it, sometimes more and sometimes less than what the writer wishes, but always their own involvement, They're, they become involved in. And I know that because I grew up in a dysfunctional house. My father was a violent alcoholic, late in life, diagnosed first as borderline schizophrenic with tendencies to violence, complicated by alcoholism, and then later as sociopathic. Um, and to escape that as a child, books gave me hope, uh, and books kept me optimistic. I, I often say I'm the greatest optimist I've ever met, um, and not a Pollyanna. I said, otherwise, I couldn't write the dark side in the story that I read. But uh, but I do believe that uh, there is meaning and purpose in life, and that books uh, that save me can save other people. And Yes, there's great comfort in reading fiction, uh, unless you're going to read novels about pandemics, which I don't think <laughs> at the moment would make a lot of sense. 